And it looks like we are underway. I think Catherine Mulligan down to six, I believe. And starting with Eldrazi Temples, exiling Simeon Spirit Guide, and a Chalice on one. Pretty good start. No turn one uh, Dragon's Rage Shine on later this game. If it resolves, that is. Yeah, I shouldn't get greedy. Um, I'll force it with it. Okay. With a brainstorm. I go to 19. All right, go ahead. All right, I, I love will hit letting this stuff resolve. But sometimes you just shoot it. Um, I'll fetch for a basic island and play a Delver of Secrets. Okay. Then I'll pass the turn. Untap, draw. Yes, we cashed out last round's predictions. I, I, I did that. All right, predictions are coming in for this round already. Kit put 6,000 towards Eldrazi. This will be a spicy one, says Kip. PD Supreme, thanks for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Weird had to refresh. Oh, uh, yeah, I, th I think the channel points uh, prediction poll thing is a little buggy, but... You're getting, you're getting your points, everybody. All right. Delver on the field here. Slip through a... Uh, slip through the turn before a second chalice on one resolved. Run tap. Draw. I'll take two. Go to 15. Thought not see her. Um, Thought not Seer is pretty incredible. Results. Okay, trigger. Um, thinking about trigger for a second. Sure. Thought not trigger on the stack. I'll petty death to Thought not Seer in response to the trigger. Uh, does that bounce? Just bounce, right? Yeah, just bounce. So okay. I draw a card from it leaving. And then yep. your exile trigger resolves. And then we've got Brainstorm, Misty, Brainstorm. Demi. Nice Misty. Red. Um, what do you take here, chat? The Demi Lich doesn't have Flash, right? It does not, no. Okay. Not that Chalice shuts off the two other cards. Get rid of that skull, says turn zero. I agree. That's what I would take. I guess I'll go with the Demi Lich. Oh, you can cast it from the graveyard. Nonsense. I'm going to get rid of the Demi Lich. Sure. And it goes into exile. And then... Skull gone. Right. Right. I mean, we Tough wanted to see three. the Demilich in action, so mm -hmm. I think we're a little upset oh, with sure Catherine right indeed. now, right? Are we upset? Is anybody upset? I'll play Misty. Mm -hmm. Misty. And I'll deck for three. Twelve. And then I'll pass the turn. Draw. I'm a little upset. Mildly upset. Okay, Suffers is rooting against Blue Red Delver. 97% favor for Eldrazi, says chat. Just a little bit of time left for predictions. If you put some channel points right now towards Demolich and it wins, there's a lot to gain here. Uh, City of Traders is the land per turn. Sure. City of Traders. I want you to take damage from your ancient dude. <laughs> I don't want any more. That is fair. Uh, so I'll go for that. Thought not see her again. Thought um, not see her again. You have three mana left. Days seems irrelevant here, except for the fact that it can mm. tax and prevent a follow up three drop. Yeah, that's fine. That results. Okay. Trigger. And um, eighty nine percent favored for sure. Eldrazi says exile. chat in the end. Deez is now exiled. Go ahead. 
passing the turn. Fetch to 17. 17. I'll get myself an island and cast a Brazen Borrower. Mm -hmm. Brazen Borrower, pretty good here. The flying creatures might get it done. Eldrazi yeah, has a hard I'll time with flyers. If there's one thing I've learned, it's never bet against Delver says Fiery Justice. Fiery Justice must have uh, bet against Delver a few times on these streams and, and paid the price. All right, lethal next turn on board for Peter. Let's see if uh, Catherine has any good follow-up here. Uh, nope, not going to get there. Needed removal for the Flyers. That's pretty normal for this deck. Yes, yeah, so when you can get behind on board and they have flyers, it's always rough. Yeah. All right, game one goes to... Oh, I didn't update the score from last round. Okay, that was actually game one, and it goes to Peter. Legacy in the middle of the day, what's up with that? Yeah, we have some, uh, some daytime streams now and then. All right, we have Germany, Netherlands. Nice, Peter, Peter is in the Netherlands. Endless one to start the game for Catherine, and a fetch to start the game for for Peter. Endless one, a two-two Eye of Ugin on the battlefield, so potentially a follow-up Reality Smasher or a Thought Knots here. Nice to catch the stream live instead of on YouTube. Denmark here says Jack. Hello from New York City. I'm I'm very happy to. Uh, have you here live i i would love to do more europe time zone streams which is a good segue into players we're looking for more players based in europe if you'd be interested in playing on 90s mtg the links are all below to find all this stuff but 90smtg.com slash play i'll share the link in chat we do have some tech requirements to make sure the streams go smoothly we do require um, not particularly expensive, but higher quality webcams, etc., to make sure everybody can see what's going on on stream. High internet speed, etc. Fill out the form. Tell me about yourself. Say hello, and uh, if you'd be interested in playing some games with us, I'm looking to do more and more Europe time zone streams. So, so there's that. All right, Eldrazi Mimic is the follow up here with a Cavern of Souls on Eldrazi. And then a Matter Reshaper. Everything reduced by two thanks to Eye of Ugin. What's the typical streaming schedule? Typically, we're at GMT minus four, 8 p.m. Eastern, Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Tuesdays and Wednesdays here on Twitch. Every week. 8 p.m. Eastern. Force of Will on a Matter Reshaper. Go ahead. A scalding turn. Um, I'll fetch the 15. Which webcams are recommended? I'm looking to upgrade anyway. There is some discussion on this going on in the 90s MTG Discord. Explanation point Discord and chat. If you're not in the Discord, join it now and come hang out with us there. Um, I think the consensus is that Logitech C9 series webcams are the best value for the price and the quality, etc. I don't own a webcam, but that seems to be uh, what the... The players that have played on our channel are using the most, and they're very happy with it. Logitech C9 series cameras. A braid on the endless one, I guess? Yeah. All right. Untap. Draw. Temple. Cavern for blue. And then reality smasher. Trigger the mimic. Oh, good shot. The mimic in response. Okay. Good shot. Are you Pretty good there. Mana, are you taking? Oh, I took two life. Okay. Cool. Thank you. 
and combat. Those, yeah. Five. Uh, eight. Eight. Pass. All right. Yeah. Pretty good turn there for Catherine, despite the gut shot. Reality Spider does a lot of damage. Bounce. It's hard to kill. Drum tap. Draw. I wonder if we're going to see a petty theft here. Okay. Reality Smasher requires a discard to be targeted. <clears throat> Just too generic for Thorn of the Amethyst. Sure, good results. Combat? Yeah. I'll go to a tree. Not looking good and for Peter here. This one will be on Construct. Sure. I'll do my best to articulate the difference. Go ahead. Uh, I'll upgrade the uh, artifact. Yeah. Doing the attacks. Okay. Well. Then I'll take my turn. Let's see if I can uh, somehow survive that thing. Uh, forces aren't going to do it. <laughs> okay. Right, you win this one. Game three. All right, going to game three here. That's my feeling. That's my feeling. I, based on no uh, evidence... Or or experience. I just I just feel like good players I know who play you know their pet decks and they know the ins and outs of the deck have been able to do well with it. Rug Delver is actually your very first legacy deck. Nice. Rage Chinola. And I'll pass it to Ancient Tomb, I'll take two, and I'll go for a Chalice on one. I'll try to daze that and trigger my Chandler. Chandler says, top of the library. Go ahead. All right. All right. Daze is a pretty good card. Burn was my first deck until I could grind into lands. Wow, you, you went from, like, the uh, the budget deck to the to the expensive deck. Straight, straight, straight to it. Master your deck and you do well. Exactly. That, that, that's how I feel. That, that's my feeling. I'm not going to tell somebody that uh, that's what they should do, but I think you could do that if you try. GP New Jersey during the height of Dig Omnitel was a brutal experience if you weren't playing that list. Yeah, that's probably true. I wasn't really playing uh, Magic frequently at that time. I was just coming back to Magic after a long hiatus for uh, Cons of Tarkir. And for, I want to, like, I'll just say a year since I, uh, after I came back to Magic, I strictly played Limited. I only played Limited because I hadn't, I didn't have any constructed cards really. And I just was like catching up. I was so out of the loop. All right. Another Chalice and an Endless One comes down. Mm -hmm. Delver flips. Yeah. Uh, volcanic Island. That's true. The the uh, the market prices have changed quite a bit. Black. And we, I was talking about this with the players. Uh, Anne and and Peter are are based in Europe. Catherine's not, but um, she was in on the discussion as well. Are people returning to in-person events yet in your area? I know, I know we have a lot of people watching right now in Europe. Um, and what has that been like? Are people wearing masks? Are they requiring vaccines? And what decks are you playing? Let me know. You can let me know in the YouTube comments as well. I, I, I'm loving hearing about everybody's experiences returning to Paper Magic. It's, uh, it's making me feel kind of happy. All right. Delver gets in there. A lot of mana. We're going to yeah, attack the temple for Eldrazi and spend one of the mana on Mattery Shaper. Sure, that results. I have Catherine at 13. Am I right? I'm at 12 because of the um, dragon's random ping. 
Um, one with this, three with this, and two ancient tombs, I think. Okay. So 12. All right. You guys are playing, so you probably know better than I do. <laughs> I'm, I'm being good, and I'm just I'm doing the writing. You're writing it down. You know? All right, all right, yeah. cool. We're good. We have detailed notes, chat. Mm -hmm. Thank you, though. <laughs> all right, and I'm going to okay. spend the remaining wingding, and then I'll take two for the ancient tomb to go to 10 and go for a smasher. Uh-oh. That results. And then we'll go into combat. Um, I'll be casting a, a, a petty theft on the smasher um, with the trigger from the smasher uh, goes on the stack and the trigger from the chandler mm -hmm. goes on the stack okay. yours is also first right See, I'm an extra player my goes on the stack um, first your second so yeah um, yours is also first so the, I don't get this information at first um so I'll discard a demi -lich. Okay. And then I'll surveil. Mm -hmm. I'll, hmm. In Denmark, we have already returned to paper magic, though a test is required. No mask needed, but you can wear one if you like. Nice. I think a lot of that stuff is like a store to store kind of, um, you know, every, every store will have their own rules kind of thing. Draw. Hmm. So you're on 10, right? Yeah. Agreed. Because mm -hmm. even here in New York City, we have some, as far as I know, I've only been to one shop so far, but like my local shop, my closest store is requiring vaccine. There, we, we have a pass here we can show in New York. It's an app that can show you you're vaccinated. Um, and you have to wear a mask, but there are other stores as well in the New York area where you can do whatever you want. You don't have to wear a mask. You don't have to show anything. Or so I've heard. I haven't been to them. Your favorite LGS didn't survive this crisis at the moment. I, I don't feel like going traveling to other game stores. I feel, I feel you on that. I feel you. I'm sorry. Your, uh, local shop had to, had to close down. Where are you located again? Were you in Europe? Sorry, I forgot. Oh, you're in Netherlands. You're in Netherlands. Gotcha. I'll run it back. I'll go to five. I don't see a way out of this. Ouch. Other than playing the Smasher and swinging in. Oh, uh, Smasher's on the stack. Sorry. Oh, no, it's results. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> and then combat. Right. I'm uh, also going to run it back with a petty theft on the smasher. Oh my goodness. So many petty thefts. <laughs> I'll, uh, uh, just, trigger, I'll trigger. discard a ponder to it. And this gets delirium. Uh, and then I'll also discard this demi lich of a surveil the demi lich. This goes there. I'll block the tutu. Sure. And then I'll go to 13. How many but... brazen borrowers in this deck? Is delirium types? Because aren't yeah. ponder, aren't we still at? I, I discarded three? the ponder just now. Uh, instant sorcery creature. Oh, it's a daze. I'm sorry. I definitely thought that was a ponder. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah. So then I'm done on the crackback. All right. I mean, you. I could let you go through the whole thing, but we're good. <laughs> I was really hoping I could mana frost the demi lich into play, but it was just better to petty death twice. <laughs> I was really. How many brazen borrowers are? Your... I'm sorry. What? I was really hoping I'd get another mana for all his dust. Oh, that was in your hand? hand? Oh. <laughs> yeah, the whole time, but I never had enough mana. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would have been pretty brutal. That's rough, that's rough. Yeah. 